stop just stop panicking relax take a deep breath Keep watching the video and by the end of it, it will all be all right. Hello, this is Dr. Vladan Stojanovic, your everyday dentist. And today in this video, I will explain this quite common phenomenon. And most importantly, what to do about it. Stick to the end of the video for a small bonus tip. So you have a kid. He is probably somewhere between five to seven years old and his permanent teeth are starting to grow. But what happens with the permanent teeth? Permanent teeth that first start showing are usually lower incisors. And this uh, phenomenon usually occurs in the lower incisors. It can also happen with the upper incisors and uh, first molars. So the most important thing I want you to do is uh, not to panic. This is nothing extraordinary. It's quite common and we get this question quite often. Uh, usually over the phone call because parents notice it at home and then they call us uh, in panic. Uh, what to do about it? My kid is growing a second row of teeth. If they, if they try googling it, they will find terms like shark teeth. So, um, maybe I will do a video, a video at some point about how the teeth, the permanent teeth uh, replace the baby teeth. But basically what is happening is that permanent teeth are starting to grow and instead of resorbing the roots, they are just uh, growing behind the baby teeth. So why does this happen? Well, I'm glad you asked. Uh, this happens uh, for two reasons. The permanent tooth that is in the bone, it has a genetically determined location. For example, in upper incisors, uh, they are behind the baby central incisors. When they start growing, they are growing to the front and down. So as they grow, their, their path is straight and down. At some point, they will, they will just go over the roots of the baby teeth and go down and they will resorb the upper central incisors of the a first dentition. In some cases this doesn't happen. So uh, the location is set and also the path in which it will grow is also due to genetics. For some reason with your kid this didn't happen. It's still nothing to worry about. This is a, a very common problem that is not even necessary. I don't want. To, I don't even want to say easily fixable because sometimes you don't even have to do anything about it. It will all just turn out okay. So when this happens, there are two cases that can be presented. The, the you can check for them at home. The first option is that the I, I will be talking mostly about the lower center, uh, lower incisors because that's most commonly where it presents. So what do you have to do about it? First of all, you can check if the baby teeth are wiggling. If they are wiggling, you can just stop or stop worrying right here. They will fall right out. You can encourage your kid or you can do it yourself to just uh, wiggle the tooth and he can just keep wiggling it, maybe to the sides a bit or maybe even rotating motions and it will fall right out and it will all be okay. Uh, in case that the baby teeth are not wiggling at all, uh, so why did this happen? Well, the, the permanent incisor completely missed the root of the baby teeth, the baby tooth. This is still nothing to worry about. Uh, you, will, we will, you will just uh, probably have, to, you should at this point contact your dentist and we will probably have to help it around a bit, wiggle it out ourselves. This is nothing urgent. You can give it a few weeks, see if it starts wiggling. In the meantime, uh, find a dentist, find a dentist or contact your dentist if you already have one. Don't uh, scare your child, just get him ready for his first dentist visit if this is his first. Oh, that's a video idea, how to prepare your kid for a dentist maybe in some later video. For now, just don't, uh, it's important to just not scare your kid. Don't use sentences like, nothing is gonna hurt you, because at that point he's already, he's, he's already connecting the visit to the dentist with some pain. 
there is no reason for that. Don't use it prematurely. If after several weeks the baby teeth are still stuck in the bone, they're not moving at all, well, at that point, I'm sorry, but uh, your dentist will have to, well, help it out a bit, wiggle it out ourselves. I'm sorry. That's just what you're gonna do. Lower baby teeth are the easiest ones to extract. After, after we have taken out the baby teeth, the permanent incisor will be still behind all the other teeth. You, will be, you, will, you might still be worried how this will be corrected. Will my kid need braces? Will my kid need dental appliance? Removable dental appliance? Uh, you still have nothing to worry about. Uh, what usually happens in most cases to correct this anomaly is that the tongue thrust basically just pushes uh, the, the tooth out. So the tongue just pushes the tooth right out and gets it into place. It will all be fine and it will all fix itself. Uh, fix itself. If any, uh, so you're wondering if anything can go wrong. Well, not really, to be honest. It will, it will all work itself out. Please let me know down in the comments if this video helped calm you down and ask if you, if you have any further questions that need clarifying. If you liked this video, please leave a like. Uh, I will try to do many of these these kind of videos answering uh, common questions that you might have or that you might run into with your your teeth or your kids teeth. Now for the promised bonus tip. So in case this is happening and you take your child to an orthodontist at this age, we can start noticing some signs of prim uh, primary crowding. So what is it? Basically, we can uh, we can start to predicting, the, uh, and that prediction will become more and more accurate as the time goes on. If your kid will have problem with crowding, so some of the signs that you can notice yourself uh, when this is uh, while you're seeing the second row of teeth is, for example, a lack of space in his frontal teeth. If this is happening, ask your dentist about it and maybe you can see an orthodontist as well and he can do some analysis and calculations and we can start an early orthodontic treatment. There you go. I'm Dr. Vladan Stojanovic, your everyday dentist and I will see you in the next video.